ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Chemistry Deathmatch! Featuring Professor John Chemical Kilcoyne and science's biggest loser, Bunhead! Last time, Bunhead's loud bang levelled the scores at one round each. But who can produce the most foam? Gentlemen, now I want a good, clean fight. Now turn to your corners and prepare your chemicals. Kilcoin there using washing up liquid iodine and hydrogen peroxide or H2O2. There it is there. This is odd. No chemicals for Bunhead, just soapy water. What's he playing at there? Professor. Please produce your phone. And there's the foam. Climbing out of the bucket as the iodine causes the peroxide to decompose. The resulting gas bubbling through the soap solution and creating foam. Stupendous. Bunhead, please produce your phone. Just soapy water for Bunhead. Then, oh, well, what's this here? Liquid nitrogen, he kept that quiet. The liquid nitrogen boiling away there as it hits the warm, soapy water. But what's going on beneath that veil of nitrogen gas? Is that foam? Man alive, it's everywhere! A unanimous decision, but not a popular one, giving Bunhead the lead. Join us for round four when our titans of titration will compete to produce the best flash. <laughs> <laughs>